Welcome to the Signature Canine video series, where we're taking a look at all the new stuff coming out of the shop and some of your old school favorites that are getting a facelift. So today at Signature Canine, we're going to take a look at the Ray Allen insert. This is our cruiser insert. This replaces the rear seat to contain your uh, dog. And the first thing you're going to see here is there is a heavy piece of tubing that goes across the front. may not be the first thing you see, but it's uh, one of the important things. Uh, and that tubing is basically set up to reinforce that one, the reinforce that front panel to keep it from rattling, um, to add just extra structural support, to be able to tie everything together and kind of hold it there. The other thing you're going to see on this, this particular model is the where the bars are, that's actually cut and it's powder coated a black uh, matte black finish and part of the reason it's powder coated that matte black is so there's no glare in the future we're going to make a few changes on that but most of our inserts for vehicles pre-2000 2011 and back are all set up like this the next thing you see is a sliding door across the middle and that door basically goes you know left and right so if you get in an accident you can't get access to the doors you can bring them out through the front it just gives you another option the other thing it does is, you know, certainly he can stick his head through there and you can you can pet him and say hello to him. And that door can pin open so it'll stay like that. So it's not something that, uh, you know, it will it pins, you know, locks closed or locks open. The other thing you'll notice is on the, uh, there's a floor mat in here. And you can pick that floor mat up and move it. And on the vehicles that have our rear wheel drive, you're going to see a kind of a footwell here where this kind of ramps out, where the floor of it kind of ramps out to the bottom of the door. There's two things. It makes it easier for the dog to get in and out of. The other thing is if something happens, your dog has an accident, it spills his water, he gets sick, whatever, that stuff rolls it, you know, it ends up at that footwell area or that little area by the door so it's not in the main part of the cabin where the dog's going to be in it until you have a chance to get out there and, and clean up the mess. That's, you know, one of the pieces I think is pretty handy about the floor. Next thing we're going to take a look at is the doors. And you can see the door guard. It's uh, the bottom p piece is a single panel of aluminum that you replace the, you know, you replace your regular door molding. The top piece is a piece of powder-coated steel that you can take down so you can clean. Uh, so you can clean the windows, I mean. So that vented piece, you unpin it, and it folds out of the way. And then you can go ahead and clean that window guard. From the front, you can see where the uh, slider is, you know, where the door slider is here. Uh, so you can move that thing, you know, like I said, completely out of the way, open it up. On the, uh, on the models, again, for 2011 and back, you can actually tie that into the door handles on some of them so that you actually stiffen it up even more and uh, help rely on the uh, on the door post there. Now the ram that's on here is actually a stainless steel all marine grade hardware and one of the things you want to watch when you put a ram or when you put uh, material on this, uh, aluminum specifically, aluminum and steel don't like each other uh, <laughs> for whatever reason they actually corrode. Now stainless steel doesn't do that and that's one of the reasons we use stainless steel RAM and a stainless steel hardware so that if the powder coating, you know, the whole the whole insert is powder coated gray but if for some reason, you know, you get a scratch in that or at any point that the aluminum actually, you know, wears, you know, the powder coating were to wear underneath that piece of stain, that piece of steel where that that RAM is mounted Technically, you can get corrosion in there, and it's no good for the steel, and it's no good for the aluminum. The way ours is set up, we use all stainless steel hardware and a, stain and a marine-grade stainless steel ram to push the door open so you don't have those corrosion issues. And again, here you can see the pins on the side of the door uh, and the way that whole system works, and the way that's all put together. So the key features here as we're taking a look at is, one, you'll notice that there are bends in the well in the wheel wells and stuff we do that for extra space again same thing with the floor panel the way the floor the way it dips down where the door is the way the floor pan dips down where the door is gives you the ability to if like i said if your dog does get sick or something weird happens spills his water whatever it rolls down there it doesn't not that you're not gonna have some on the floor but it mostly rolls out of the way so the dog's not swimming in it the hardware is stainless steel. The RAM is stainless steel. It's got an escape hatch so that if something happens, you're there. It's got a reinforcement bar across it uh, to help tie everything together, keep it from rattling, to offer some extra support. It's, it's aluminum and steel. Everything on it is laser cut, so it's all really smooth. It's done on a, on a, uh, on a water table, so it's, 
you know, there's no rough edges. There's no places that, you know, where your dog's going to get caught, hurt, or anything like that. In the front of it, there's actually, you'll see a series of holes there. That's for a vent fan. You know, so if you want to hook a fan to the front of that, so you can actually blow sort of the front air conditioned air back into the into the rear section, you can do that. You can mount a fan on there and uh, blow it, you know, move air from the front to the back. It comes with the uh, with a floor mat. Now you can get a heavier floor mat for this to ha- you know a, a thicker floor mat, but it's basically the same thing that a horse stall is. A stall mats are made out of. It's a really heavy heavy duty rubber, real durable rubber that will take a beating. Plus, gives your dog some traction so he's not sliding around in the back of there. And you'll see the other thing you'll see is that there's molding on all the edges. There's like cover molding a rubberized cover molding on the edges of the unit itself, one, to keep the dog from hurting himself, two, to keep it from doing damage and to help keep it from rattling and that sort of thing, doing damage to, you know, wearing against the car or anything like that. Um, I think that's all the excitement we've got on the uh, Cruiser insert here. Thanks for uh, taking the time to check this one out and uh, look for a bunch of new models coming out in 2012.